Hi everyone! So I've received a comment um, just about a new topic of discussion from an anonymous person and it's basically the idea that uh, Muhammad was a pedophile. So those people that are against Islam say, well of course Muhammad was a pedophile, he married a six-year-old girl. And the people that are you know, for Islam, they're, they're doing Islamic uh, or Muslim apologetics, they will say, well, you know, he may have married her when she was six, but he didn't have sex with her until she was nine. Well, okay. I mean, to me, that's still a pedophile, having sex with a nine-year-old girl as opposed to a six-year-old girl. I mean, I don't think it's like three years less terrible. I think it's still pretty bad. Um, not pretty bad. I think it's deplorable and absolutely horrible. But, I mean, I understand that, you know, people didn't live as long back then, and once a woman hit that age of menstruation, um, she was kind of up for grabs, you know, like she could produce kids, so let's start producing kids with her. But then I thought about that too, and I thought about all the nine-year-olds I've ever seen, and none of them really look like they're capable of passing a baby through their pelvic area. Um, you know, having a baby growing inside of you and then delivering a child, that's a lot more than just being capable of having an egg that can get uh, impregnated by a sperm. That involves a lot more. Your body goes under a lot of, you know, toll and you, you have to have the kid. I mean, you know, there's there are various reasons that women die during uh, childbirth, um, but definitely being too young to for the body to actually physically handle giving birth to the child was one of them. And unless Aisha was like a really voluptuous nine-year-old, I don't see how it would be responsible for anyone to try to have sex with her with the attempt to impregnate her. Um, if you're not attempting to impregnate her when she's menstruating, then that would mean that you're just trying to have sex with her just because you want to. And that's kind of gross, to have sex with a nine-year-old as a 53-year-old man just because you really like it. Um, that I would consider pedophilia. Um, so if she's not menstruating, which means she can't get pregnant, which means her life wouldn't be in danger, then I would consider it pedophilia, um, even by different cultural definitions, because she's not fully a woman, because she's not menstruating. And if she was menstruating when she was nine, she's not physically capable of really having a kid without a lot of complications, so you're putting her life in danger by getting her pregnant. Basically, fucking a nine-year-old either way seems pretty wrong um, by all definitions to me. Now, of course, you're probably thinking, well, who are you? You're an atheist. You know, where do you get off saying that this is wrong? Well, I am a human, and I know that we have a drive to perpetuate the species, so by impregnating a child who probably doesn't have a very good survival rate for caring or for living through a pregnancy, um, that's not really the best thing for our species. You might want to wait a little bit for them to actually have it, you know, be able to deliver kids. Um, I also found something else that was really interesting, um, in, a, in an awful, terrible way, interesting. Um, there are these things called fatwas, which are religious decrees, and there were two of them regarding something called thighing. Now, if you're like me and you have no idea what thighing is until I read this, um, thighing is when you take your dick, you stick it between the thighs of a, of a woman or a girl, um, but not in her vagina, just in her thighs, and then you fuck it until, like, you can do it as foreplay, I guess, or you can um, do it to orgasm. And apparently that's what um, Muhammad used to do to six-year-old Aisha. So it's not like he married her at six and was being like really good and not you know doing anything sexual to her until she was of age at nine when uh, other texts describe her as being um, you know playing with dolls and being so innocent that she wouldn't be condemned for playing with dolls. I guess you're not allowed to play with dolls in Islam. I don't know. That's kind of the takeaway message I got out of it. But if I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, but anyway, it's uh, thawing. That was a bit odd to read about, and I, I'm just trying to think. Like, if you if you ever saw any six year old girl, your daughter, your niece, your friend's daughter, or just a kid hanging out, and then that child was being used as a masturbatory aid for a 53 year old man or any man of any age, would you think, yeah, that's cool, that's that's whatever, that's totally normal and not harmful, or would you? Um, do everything in your power to possibly stop this man from doing this to this child because it's sexual assault. I would hope that it would be the latter. Um, interestingly, thawing is also allowed uh, to be done on weaning girls. For those of you who don't know what weaning is, it's um, when you're going from breast milk to um, actual food. Now, I've never had any kids, but I've been around babies, and I know that age tends to be eh, between like six or eight months old. You start to feed them a little bit. 
um, take them off of the breast milk a little bit. So think about that. Think about a man looking at an eight month old baby girl getting sexually aroused, sticking his dick between her little baby thighs and fucking it until he orgasms. It also says you can kiss her too. So fucking it and kissing her until she orgasms. And this is a religious decree that's completely allowed. That's... Why, like, why is anybody even focusing on Muhammad being a pedophile when they could focus on that? Like, that's, that's what I thought. Um, I also thought that's terrible. And so I'm interested in hearing what any Muslims have to say about this. Um, you know, I, I have Muslim friends, and there are things that I've heard, like, about maybe the sexism or the violence in Islam. And so I like to ask them about it, because, you know, these people aren't crazy. They're rational human beings. They're my friends for a reason. So I ask them their opinion on it, and I've been able to learn, you know, just different ways to look at um, a, si a situation. And there are things that I agree with them about, I've changed my mind about, um, and there are things that I still disagree with, or I can see it's okay sometimes kind of thing. Um, so for this, that's what I'm asking. I'm not doing this to be offensive, I'm presenting um, what I've found to you and asking for why or what or basically your input on it. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So all that stuff that I've talked about is in the, uh, the detail section. Um, feel free to talk about it. Please talk about it because that was probably one of the most disturbing things I've ever read. Um, and I my brain kind of stopped once I read it. It was it was just so disturbing to me. Um, so if you guys can explain how, how, what, why, when, any of this is okay, um, in what way it's okay, then please let me know or let the rest of us know because for people that haven't heard this before, now they've heard it and they probably want to know why. So that's uh, started off as a uh, this topic about Muhammad and his pedophilia, and it's ending up on this topic of, hey Muslims, what's the deal with this? Um, so, yeah, as far as I can tell, uh, with the whole Muhammad pedophilia thing, um, he's totally a pedophile. He's fucking a six-year-old girl, well, I'm sorry, fucking her thighs. He's not actually penetrating her vagina. Um, and then once she hits nine, you know, I, I couldn't find whether she started menstruating, whether they, and then that's when they had sex. If anybody can give me information on that, I'm really happy to find out too. But if she started menstruating, that means she can get pregnant, and getting a nine-year-old pregnant is just dangerous and irresponsible. And if she wasn't menstruating, that means that she wasn't culturally considered a woman by, well, many old cultural standards, so he's fucking a child by their cultural standards. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to, you know, this is a discussion thing. Um, I am not the end-all, be-all. Um, I am not the authority on anything, so, you know, whenever I present a video, please, you know, discuss it and... You know, let's uh, let's let's talk about it. Let's learn about it together. So, um, you can post that in the comment section. You can post it straight to my channel, or you can uh, send it to me via personal message. But as always, thanks for listening.